Guilford County Schools says it needs $1.7 billion to continue fixing school buildings and voters could have the final say. Today, County Commissioners saw why it's needed. WFNY News 2's Avery Powell was there as Commissioners toured Page High School. He joins us now with how the bond referendum will help the school and dozens of others. Guilford County School says it needs a total of $2 billion to fix facilities across the county. Voters already approved $300 million. Now the Board of Commissioners will ask them to consider a $1.7 billion bond referendum. It's something county leaders say is needed, especially when you see the inside of these schools. Chipped paint, leaky pipes, ceiling tiles coming down. That's what you'll find at Page High School nowadays. We still are asking our students to perform under these circumstances, uh, and that's something that really bothers me. Two Guilford County Commissioners toured the more than 60-year-old school Wednesday. It's ahead of a vote Thursday to add a $1.7 billion bond referendum to the March ballot. It is a big number, but if we continue to piecemeal the problem little by little, we're going to continue chasing our tails. Staff members say the problems are clear. Unfortunately, two years ago, I had to sit, uh, came out from the summer and the ceiling had caved in on all of my belongings. David Rogers Jr. has taught at the school for more than 20 years. He says the upgraded facilities can have a big impact. The last big addition to the school was in 2003. That's almost 20 years ago. These kids weren't born. And so technology that's new then, facilities new then, now it becomes outdated. The plan is to completely rebuild Page, something alumni say is bittersweet but needed. It just has to happen. There are things in our school that are great, but they, it, it, we need to move forward for the betterment of, of the kids in our community. The Board of Commissioners meeting is Thursday at 530 and there will be a public comment period.